So I want to take this time to talk about Terminator Dark Fate. Now, there's a lot of kind of controversy going on with this movie. Now, this, this Terminator is supposed to take place after 3, like Terminator 3, Salvation, and Genesis never took place. This is supposed to be the direct sequel to Terminator 2. Linda Hamilton's coming back. And through these trailers, we've all been going like, where's John Connor? Like, they, they casted John Connor. We, we heard confirmation that the actor who played John Connor in T2 is going to be in this movie, but yet we haven't seen anything from John Connor. Well, reviews have been out, there's some spoilers going on, and it doesn't take a genius to put two and two together and know what's going on. And I have come to the conclusion, and you don't have to agree with me, it's perfectly fine, I am not seeing this damn movie. I am not going to go see Terminator Dark Fate, because I am tired of not only bad sequels from the Terminator franchise, but... I'm tired of this SJW crap just being crammed down our throat. Since the beginning of Terminator, since the very first Terminator movie, we were told John Connor is the future of the human resistance. He's the important person in the Terminator franchise. Terminator 1 and Terminator 2 revolved around John Connor. John Connor wasn't even born in Terminator 1, yet he was the main character. Now we find out that... You know, something's going to happen, and, and John Connor is pretty much irrelevant. It's about these Powerpuff Girls now. That's what I call them, the three Powerpuff Girls, because that's what they are. we got the new Terminator, Linda Hamilton, and this other new chick. They, they are the trio, the, the Powerpuff Girls. And by all means, I am not criticizing women's power man and Me Too and all that crap. I'm, I'm not, I, I don't fall for that that. You know, hate fest of that shit. You know, I'm all for women empowerment, and as long as the story makes sense and it's not crammed down our throat, I feel it's being 100% crammed down our throat. There's a reason why everybody liked Danny in Game of Thrones because it wasn't a fact that her character was a woman; she was a last of a Targaryen. We were rooting for her because her father was murdered, and she is the rightfully the queen of the Iron Throne, and, and we were, you know, we liked her as a character. It had nothing to do with her being a woman. You know, Sigourney Weaver and Alien, it wasn't the fact that she was a woman, it's just she was in that situation where I feel like, and that's what Terminator was. The first Terminator was. Sarah Connor was this lady that was just, she was going to carry John Connor. She was important to the franchise. And now it feels like, you know, us being in 2019, it's all about women's rights, women's movement, and we got to cram as much women's shit down our throats as possible. We've seen this this horrible trend where we're going to take movies, reboot them, and put women in the, the lead roles. It's like the 20, the 2016, 2015, whatever the fuck that god awful Ghostbusters movie that Paul Feig did, whatever year that shit came out. It wasn't that it was all females, it's because it was a shitty ass movie. If they would have cast all females and made it take place in the Ghostbuster universe and actually act like they gave a shit about Ghostbusters, it probably would have been successful. But they were so, so forced into trying to make a statement about all oh, women's rights and all men are stupid, it kind of, that took over the movie. That's why Ghostbusters sucked, because it was about, you know, them making a statement rather than making a movie, and we keep seeing this over and over again. Batwoman comes out, and Batwoman's all like, you know, that suit would be perfect when it's made for a woman. It's like, it's just constant over and over again, and I am refusing to go see Terminator Dark Fate. I don't care what the reviews are. I don't care if people are like, oh, it's really good. I just saw Jeremy Johns' review. And he kept talking about, well, something happens at the beginning that really pissed me off, and it completely pissed me off through the entire movie. And I know what that something is. We don't need to spoil it. Like, we all know John Connor hasn't been in the trailers. Jeremy's pissed off about what happened in the first few minutes of Terminator. I mean, a fu it doesn't take a fucking rocket scientist to figure this shit out. So it's obvious what happens in the beginning and what's going to cause these, these Powerpuff Girls to try to take on the Terminator. What's up, Pess? Yeah, he doesn't give a shit either. He's not going to see this movie. And not only that, it's like, I, I still got the bad taste in my mouth from Terminator Genesis. So, nothing in the trailers intrigued me to go see it. The, the, Linda Hamilton coming back. whoop the fucking do Who cares? Let's just rehash what they did in Halloween and bring Jamie Lee Curtis back. That's what they're doing. Like, every franchise now is going, well... You know, the sequels don't count. Only this movie counts. This is a direct sequel to that movie. Oh, we're bringing back Jamie Lee Curtis. We're bringing back Linda Hamilton. Oh, it's like every franchise is doing that. Every franchise is trying to throw this woke culture, this SJW shit in our face. And I'm tired of it. At what point do we just like say, fuck it, dude. I, I, I got to take a stand. So I am not going to be seeing 
Terminator Dark Fate, at least not in theaters. I will tell you that. I'm not going to completely bald face lie to you guys like, well, I'm never going to see it ever in my life. No, it just... I'm not going to go see it in theaters. If it shows up on Netflix or Redbox, you know, I might give it a view and I might even actually kind of like it. I don't know. Just right now, I just feel overwhelmed with th this messages. Just keep throwing, like, everybody wants to throw messages on pop messages. And I'm just done with it, man. I'm done with it. I'm so tired of it. I just want to go see a movie and enjoy a movie and not have to sit there and be preached to for two fucking hours. Women so strong and women fuck guys and all this. Like, I just, I. I'm done with it, man. I'm done with it. And it's not like the, the trailers intrigued me anyway. You look at the trailers, what does it look like? It looks like almost a carbon copy of fucking Terminator 2. It looks like shit we already seen before. It's like, take the fucking Terminator franchise in a new, fresh direction. Stop rehashing these same fucking stories. Well, this person's important. We're gonna send a Terminator to come stop him. And oh my God, we gotta send someone from the Resistance back to stop the Terminator to stop the Like, fuck you, dude. It's like, I'm so tired of this shit. It's the same shit. So anyway, that's my little rant. Didn't mean to go on for as long as I did, but I am just done with it. I'm done with it. I want to know what you guys feel. Like, are you done with it? Like, I posted something on Facebook. Everybody's like, you need to give it a chance. Like, fuck no, I don't need to give it a chance. By giving it a chance is what tells the studio to keep doing this shit. As long as we keep paying our money to go see shit like this, they're going to keep doing shit like this. Terminator needs to die. I'm sorry. The best Terminator we had since... Terminator 2 was the Sarah Connor Chronicles, which we got fucked out of a third season. So, yeah, ter the Terminator franchise needs to fucking die. You know, there comes a time where you're like, you know what? We did all we could do. It's not working. I know it's a popular IP. No one cares anymore. Let it die. It's okay. Let it die. Anyway, guys, be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Till next time, as always, I am Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.